Hey guys, Andy here, and today I'm gonna teach you how to easily do the smooth zoom blur transition effect in Adobe Premiere Pro. So what I have here are just two really quick clips on the timeline. So first thing you wanna do is drag the first clip to the video track right above. And then what you're gonna do is where the two clips change, you're gonna go back six frames. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. And then you're gonna move the second clip over to where that's at. And then next you're gonna to go to your effects and then you're gonna look up transform and it's under video effects and the distort folder, not to be confused with the transform folder. So you're gonna go ahead and you're gonna drag the transform onto the top clip. And then the main things we're gonna deal with are scale and position. What we're gonna do is we're going to start the little time watch here so we get some keyframes. I'm gonna go over, and then I'm gonna change the scale to 300. Then as you can see, because the main subject is on the far right, we're not really focusing in on the subject. You're mostly just seeing like the guy in the back and part of his thumb. What we're gonna do is we're gonna change the position. Now, the easiest way to do this is to go up here to motion to find the right position. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn off transform for the time being, go up to motion, change the scale to 300 so it matches. And then we're gonna play with the position so we get the right uh, position. <laughs> and then I like to have it to where the main subject fills the frame, eyes are usually a nice key point to transition to. And so in this case, the position is negative 374.1 to 555.7. So we're gonna go ahead in here and change it to that. Then we're gonna go ahead and make sure that the motion has been reset. And now what we're gonna do is have these keyframes repositioned. We're basically gonna to go to the end of the first clip, go one, two, and three. So we're gonna do three keyframes, or three frames rather, back, and then adjust the keyframes here accordingly. And then the next thing we want to deal with is we're going to uncheck the Use Compositions Shutter Angle. And then we're going to go down to Shutter Angle. What a lot of people like to do is change the Shutter Angle to maybe like 180, but for the best blur, we're going to put it up to maximum at 360. And then we'll go ahead and copy Transform. And then we'll just uh, turn off the top clip for the time being. Then we'll go to the bottom clip and we'll go ahead and paste it there. And what you're gonna do is you're going to reposition the keyframes because all this stuff's already been done for you. So we're just going to go to where this starts and then we're gonna take the end clip or the end keyframe rather and move it to there. You'll notice that the position isn't quite the same in this one. It's focusing more on the other subject. And since our subjects in the second clip are more in the center of the frame, we'll have to readjust the position. So we'll go ahead, go over here, turn off transform, go up to motion, change the scale again. And then I wanna have both subjects in frames. I like to, again, focus on the eyes, having that be like a recurring theme here. And then we'll just kind of split it around where the nose is at. So we'll just kind of keep it about there. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna copy the position right up here down to where the transform is. And you're gonna reset the motion. And then before you turn transform back on, what you'll want to do is change the keyframe. So we'll have it here. And then what we'll do is we'll move this three frames to the right. One, two, three. And then we'll move these other keyframes right here. And since these are at default position, we don't have to change those at all. And so what we'll do is we'll do a little frame by frame so you can see it zoom in and out. And then we'll do it at full playback. So as you can see, it's focusing in on his face, his eyes. And then you can see the two eyes here as it zooms out. And it's back to normal. And at full playback, it look a little something like this. And it's just that easy. So yeah, that's how you can easily do the smooth zoom blur transition effect in Adobe Premiere Pro. If you like this tutorial, be sure to leave a like and subscribe for more tutorials. And if you have a question about Adobe Premiere Pro, be sure to leave it in the comments down below and your question could be the next tutorial. This is Andy San, signing for now. And as always, we'll see you next time. Bye guys.